What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of RCTD. Today I'm going to show you guys how to prevent water from getting into your tires and how to fix it if that does happen. Sorry about all the background noise. But uh, anyways, so if you experience you do, you're doing street bashing or something and your tires are going very wobbly like you're going to loosen parts and it's all going to fall out and be a big disaster. Um, so the first thing I'll you you think you'll think you have bent drive shafts. The first thing the first thing I'll do is make a little tiny hole right in the center of the tire because that's where it balloons the most. Well, inert that's where the most inertia is. However you say that, you know what I mean. Um, more on the faster brushless uh, basher vehicles. So I'll take so if there's water in here, water can get in them little. Uh, breather holes in there. Is there two on this one? Yeah. So this is from one of my other cars right here. Um, but So what you want to do for, to get pre to prevent water from getting in there, I've seen people who put electrical tape over them. What I'll do is I'll take a hot glue gun and just squirt it right into the hole. Not over it, but in it. Because it acts like a plug. It goes right into the hole and acts like a plug. Which is very helpful. And it's also um, it's also not too hard to uh, to get it off if you ever want to get it off for some reason. It's not too hard. Oh geez, it's windy out here, and it's snowing. Oh boy. So yeah, so I was I was doing some street bashing with this thing and experienced um, a lot of wobble, like you accelerate and then be a whole ton of wobble. And I thought there would be bent drive shafts until I just poked a tiny little hole in each tire right in the center and ran it again on the street totally fixed the issue but that may not fix the issue if your drive that's well it's obviously not going to fix the issue if you have bent drive shafts but it's a way to tell if you do have bent drive shafts is uh just poke a hole there so all the water will f uh, fly out because water will get into those holes if you did not plug them up and then it'll just fly right out because of the rotation so if you just poke a hole in there and then all the water goes down. If you have it sitting overnight, all the water will go down to the bottom and ruin your foam. And that's what causes the um, the wobble. It's all the weights from the waters down here. So if you just poke, poke a hole somewhere in the tire, all the water from all that uh, RPM will make its way to that hole and just fly right out. And also it'll just even out. You know what I mean. Um, so yes, that's how you fix it. Um, if that does happen, but to prevent it, like I said, just put some hot glue over that. I don't know why this one's so far down in there. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is also, um, besides that, this is the low C. You guys have seen this before. This is my, uh, brush. Um, this is my DHK Hobbies razor. There's glue on it. What's that from? Oh, yeah, and glue the, uh, this is the wing mount here. For the wing, it's got a weird rear rear wing that just goes right on there with uh, some hook pins. Oh jeez! So this thing actually, so this thing actually does work. Um, I just have it, just have the tires off. So there will be future videos of this thing, guys. Um, 550 motor. This is actually not the stock. This is a replacement because one of the brushes in the stock one burned out. And this is the same stock ESC, but um. Yeah, this thing works. Runs on a nickel metal, the uh, nickel metal battery. Just straps in there. So this thing started out life four wheel four wheel drive, but um, front wheel front differential uh, popped out or didn't pop out. It all stripped, and I didn't want to. Uh, I did not want to fix that. So I just took the center, the two drive shafts out right there. Also the center drive shaft that went along so it's only two-wheel drive which makes it better well not for handling because four-wheel drive is obviously, is obviously a lot better for handling but um it's only two-wheel drive so then you only have one differential to worry about which is nice because yeah this one's uh still in there but yeah it's it's uh it's toast um this is a replacement servo as well um i think it's just one that i found in my collection because after the after about a month they say of owning these the servo the stock servo will burn out or strip gears will strip 
um, which that is exactly what happened. So, if you guys are interested in this truck, um, it's kind of like one of them budget basher things. Um, I mean, it's not really a budget basher. I mean, some videos um, probably this summer of this thing. So stay tuned for that. There'll be a link if you want one of these. There'll be a link for one down below in the description box. Um, so yeah, guys, getting a little off topic there. So try this idea. If you think you have bent dry shafts, try this idea of making a little hole in your tires first. And uh, if that doesn't work, well, then you got something mechanical going on. So, or if uh, this doesn't happen to you yet, because it is March and everything is melting and all muddy, soupy mess. So I'll just do that the idea of taking the couple minutes just to hot glue. Um, just put some hot glue over those holes actually put them in the hole like I said because it'll act like a plug so I hope that will be helpful for you guys thanks for watching and uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications sorry again about all them cars um, there will be some future videos uh, of this thing probably mostly uh, wrenching videos for now because everything's all muddy and cold and wet so yes uh, thanks for watching like I said um, Leave a like on this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.